Hello and welcome back to Sisters United. You are joined by Player 1 and Player 2. And welcome back to the Not So Berry Challenge with little Megri Berry, who is now pregnant. Yes. In the last episode, we had seen that Brendan was not around and Megri got upset and went out to celebrate her getting past her grades with Trevor and the gang and got very drunk. Very. And then also had woohoo with Trevor. So, Megwe <laughs> is unsure of who the father of her baby is. She is hoping it is Brendan. We did a 50-50, so we will find out once the baby is born. Yeah. Now, this is a pre... This is another recording of this episode's voice because I had spent my time editing this episode. It was ready. Then player two deleted the sound files. I didn't mean to. So we kind of know what's happening. So again, it's like the previous episode with Mint, where we're kind of guessing where we're going along with it. But we'll improv as we go. So well, we'll if make you it entertaining. have been enjoying these episodes, please leave a like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so you don't miss another episode. And we are just waiting for little Meg Wee Berry to wake up. Little girls, oh, oh, oh. time is now, it's six o'clock. Time to get up in a minute, give me a minute. Uh, someone's awake. <laughs> ah, I know, and the boys upstairs are awake in this episode. That's what I mean. I can't remember what we talked about here. But basically, I think... I think it was a lot about her pregnancy and that we're going to speed it up. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Aye. So, oh, the sorority house, of course. Yeah. We built a sorority house for her to have. Yeah. And she will rule over it. So, we're speeding up. So, while she was pregnant, that's what she kind of did an investment in. And Aye, meant, for the nine months. And meant as help that. So, she will be going back to university where she will be at university Monday to Friday, but will be home at the weekends to see the baby. Mm. That's what we're doing. Yes, and I can't remember if we did show you off these rooms, but that's little oh, yellow yeah, so berries room. This is her room now. The bed has changed though, because I forgot that it needed a toddler bed. But that's the bed she's going to have. So it's space themed, it's ready to go. Ah yes, and Blaze <laughs> is up ready for the day. And we're not, because again, we have recorded another episode, so we're not going to spoil it, but we have a shock moment, but everything's fine. Yes, everything's fine. And Aye. we decided that Mint was going to be knitting in his old age. Yeah, it's just a shame he never sat in yes. that goddamn rocking chair. I still don't know if he, it works. I have no idea. So yes, I wanted him to sit in the wee rocking chair to knit. And the bastard disobeys me. Yeah, he does. <laughs> So this is that. us making Meg we go into labour straight away because we wanted to get going with it. And yes, yes this is me insulting because he would sit on his bed to do knitting rather than where I wanted him. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna go! Mommy, it's okay, it's it. We will go to the hospital. So yes, we take Blaze with us to the hospital. We probably should have took Mint, but I felt like it was a mummy-daughter moment. Yeah, and we had an outfit for Pacific in pregnancy. pregnancy. So we go get her checked in, and I don't know about anyone else that plays The Sims 4, but they take a fucking age. They do, it is ridiculous. So off she goes. Oh, and we did, I don't know if we mentioned it, but we have made sure that it's a girl this time round, just because the storyline works better with a girl. Yeah, for... but after this one, it's 50-50. Yeah. Well, we've already decided that we're having twins with Grey. Yeah. Mommy! Yeah, Mommy, we'll help me! It's okay, so you just let it come down to me. So we get Blaze to sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Well, she's a single star! <laughs> a single twinkle twinkle! Because, yeah, so now her name has changed. She is Tyro Rihanna. Yes? No, it's um. No, I'm still getting it. Kiyoi Hannah, I think. Basically, yellow, yellow flower. flower. <laughs> I, it's Hannah, basically. So it's Hannah. Hannah. That's her nickname, but because we couldn't pronounce this name, uh, the next babies will 
lose the Asian theme. It's just, it made sense because Blaze is in Mount Cobra Revy with Mint. Yeah. Mint is Asian, Megui's half Asian. And as you can tell by the colour of the child's skin, the dad is also non-Asian. Yeah. So Megui is a little bit in the happy baby moment. She's not too upset at the moment that it's not Brendan's. But yeah, so unfortunately it is Trevor's baby. Sadly. Originally it was Brendan's baby, but then player two reminded me about the 50-50 because I regret. it took forever to get her pregnant and we did it and unfortunately Trevor. I regret ever saying it because I could have had Brendan's baby and I absolutely love Brendan. So we're basically keeping to the theme that Megui is not mother what is it, material? Maternal. Maternal. So she can take care of baby, make sure it's fed and watered and nappy changed mm. but she's not really like cooing over it and stuff yeah that's where granddad comes in so they're oh. just kind of sitting you know Marbly. watching the play their child and their grandchild you know ah, yeah can I, can I. still very much in love of course they are and we also decided that it would be blaze's birthday in this episode before yes. megwe leaves so we get Megwe to go use build the make the cake while the baby's sleeping. Then Mint comes and entertains baby. little baby because we wanted to make sure we got that bond going at uh, quite an early stage. Yeah. <gasps> Mama, I'll make you a hamburger cake. I hope you'll enjoy it. I will. So yes. I hope it's a vegan cake. Yeah. So we just have Mint. No, Mint's vegetarian. Oh yeah, vegan. vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, what? I'm sure Natsuki won a prize and we decided that Mint would be like, he deserves to be at shown in front of everybody. Cause... He's like, yes, give it, give it to him in front of everyone, it makes him feel special. So we have granddad, granddaughter moments, very cute. Yeah. Oh, little Hannah, oh, you're so cute. And from some of the mods I've got, it gives extra like things. I don't know why I was pointing to the screen there. <laughs> <laughs> but it basically like tenderness and stuff. So we have Megui, like we say, making the cake. Oh, mommy, it's gonna be delicious! And then I've just changed out of her hospital gown yeah. back into our outfits. And then we're talking about how she is going to get. Oh, it's um, that's um, what's his name? Kyan's job. Yes. And we said feedback with criticism but positiveness or something like that. Uh, and we just bought the dust pack. Yeah. I personally still, like, I am an avid sound collector. I will buy them. The one thing I haven't got is the sports kit, but I probably will end up getting it because I am a collector. Yeah. But we aged Blaze up. And my poor... Beer Blaze is hit old age, but she's still a foxy woman. Oh, so we have her coming towards Mint to go do their woohoo. And then we've decided that Megwe, knowing the baby's skin colour, she decides she's going to phone Trevor to see if he can meet her to tell him about the baby. And also, we have future knowledge, which is not in the next episode, but the woman that Trevor woohooed with got her pregnant and but, she has twins yes yeah, so little hannah has a half, half siblings <laughs> and the woman was married with a toddler <laughs> yeah naughty naughty so <gasps> trevor trevor can, can we speak can we talk hello it's been so long it's been nine months so you know she still likes trevor so she's uh, you know basically coming in to sit inside and ask him Oof, you know right. how he is what he's been up to, he's looking good, etc, etc, just to help Claire too along. She is the voice hog. She likes to do the voices. So that's what this is about, it's basically. How is he getting on? How's the summer been? It's been a while since she's seen her, seen him, because technically she, in Sims World, she would have been off for quite a bit. Chana, how have you been? And he's just going to bitch about the fact that some woman's got pregnant. So now I'm fine other than I'm... So no, yeah, so no. 
Doggy Benjamin! Oh, oh I'm been fine, just a next. bitch. Bella. Trying to make me pay child support Bella. for twins that aren't mine. <laughs> oh, but, but how do you not know they're not yours? Uh, oh, what? Oh, a crumble woman I woohooed with in a cupboard. The <laughs> same cupboard I woohooed with oh, you. But, but I have something to tell you. Oh, uh, what? You see? See this little girl? What about it? Isn't she cute? No. She's quite ugly. Just like you. <laughs> She's your child. Uh, no. No, I don't have any more kids. You got me pregnant. I don't, I don't care. It's your time. I don't. I don't care, Magui. I have nothing to do with it, right? Stop it! I have nothing to do with it. I don't want anything to do with it, you but, fool! But, 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 Never speak to me again. And so yeah, Magui is quite sad. I thought I thought we were quite a few emotions there. And deep down, you know, she'll have been hope she will deep down in the pit of her soul think that Brendan would have done that. Brendan would have took responsibility. He would have. He would have. So but Brendan is gone. We want to make it clear she doesn't hate her child, but right now there's a bit of resentment there because mm. of Trevor. Yeah. So basically. <laughs> She comes home, ignores baby crying and granddad to save the day, you know, taking care of baby. Oh, what's wrong with my little Megway? Oh, I got the so many kids. That's okay. Help me. No, dad. I'm not helping you today. So he's like trying to work out what's wrong with Megui because all he knows is she went out with lunch with a friend. Oh, you cute little Hannah! Little Hannah! You're gonna be so beautiful like you, little and yellow cups. The other thing I want to stress is, you know, Mint and Blaze are in a different situation than Megui. They all wanted their kids so they don't understand like Megui's struggles right now as well but basically he's asking her you know, is everything okay? Everything okay, my little fox? What no. happened? <laughs> and it's up to you if she actually tells them. No, I just I'm on a bad day. You know, I just get up. And I just do it while she's standing. I'm on a day and I have so much work to do and I have to go back to uni. Yeah, so this will be them discussing, you know. He'll be saying, you know, but maybe you've got a baby now. You need to take her some responsibility. She's like, but she wants, you know, to focus on her career. If I can my career, I can take care of my baby. And then he's like, well, how about the I and your mother look after little Hannah Monday to Fridays and you come home at weekends to look after your baby. Since you don't have classes. And she agrees to that. That okay, Margaret? Because she knows she has to take responsibility of her baby, but she's also pushing the responsibility on her parents. Yes. Because she's hurt. She doesn't look it right now, but she is sad. So as she's out here thinking about everything, you know, Brendan's ghosted her. Trevor's a dick. <laughs> Has basically called her a whore. She, you know, she gets, she gets angry and decides that definitely once and for all, her sorority house will be for girls who are just like her, in her mind's eye. Yeah. And it causes her to decide to take a drastic makeover change. <laughs> no more, this nice Megway! No more! I'm going to do like my other business woman do. Have a makeover! Someone's going to get into my cold stone heart! No one. Yes, because the rest of the player child of the aspiration we need to do is kiss 10 different sims. So that's what we're going to be doing. Yoka. But yes, this is her new look. She's cut her hair. She's kind of grown up a bit in her outfits. She's looking good. Her secondary outfit is one of my favourites. 
outfits. So we're just getting her enrolled into university, into the sorority house. Yeah. So that's us going off to the sorority house now, which is actually built by yours personally. Unfortunately, I cannot upload it to the gallery. I could upload it to the gallery as the bare bones, but you wouldn't get a lot of the stuff because a lot of it is a custom lot, content. You, even the windows are custom content, so. No, no, they're in game. Oh, are they? Mm -hmm, they're just the medium windows. So, the upstairs, this is kind of like the comms, and we have actually got Megwee's picture yes. in the middle there, which is why that's getting circled. So, starting off downstairs, we have where you first walk in. So you can, you know, introductory to it. We have the debate room, yep. which is where they will debate. The dining room with Megwee's chair that she's actually only sat in once. Yeah, so and far. And the kitchen, because which... we have the mod where they can cook, but it didn't quite work out how I wanted it because the butler won't cook the meals. Yeah. We have the library, which is probably still my favourite room. Mm -hmm. It is lovely. And one missing bookshelf. No, no, it's not the walls, it's walls being down. Yeah, so we have the communal bathroom as well, where the girls go. Yeah. It's kind of like white pink is their theme for innocence. We do have a yoga room where Megwee teaches because she's the one doing yoga. Yoga, no. and again we have the dormitories where the girls sleep. Now I think we have twenty girls. We think so. We think we have then like say the calm area. And then we have Megwee's personal bedroom with a balcony and everything because she is the head sorority girl. It's because her daddy paid for it. That's yeah. what we're pretending anyway. So yes, it's actually one of my longest but favourite builds. Uh, it's one of our more successful builds as well. Sometimes yeah, they just go to Because the, the trick with the stairs, we had to look on YouTube. But once we figured out how to do it, it was just like, duh. Oh well done, done, done. So yeah, we pretty much <laughs> have her claiming her bed and during the night we get her to do her homework and everything. So we start off, this is her first day back at university. And we had also previously recorded that because she died of a heart attack, so we had yes. to re record it. Yes. Which oh. is why it started off with not seeing it at night and everything. Yeah. But anyway, we've we sorted that out because I don't like the death by emotions, emotions so with MC oh, no. command I turn it off. Ah, uh, with me it's... And this is my favourite outfit. Yes, it makes her look so womanly. You know, she just, she'll be keeping that one for a while. Oh, girls, girls! Yeah, you ready? So we wanted her to do a debate and every time I tried they would always leave. Bad girl, the sorority! Nom 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 nom. It's for girls who have been abused by men by hurting their feelings. Understand? Um, nom 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 nom. <laughs> yes! I have been one of you. And now we will. Yeah, basically, they left. Yeah. And nobody liked her. Nobody, nobody likes her, but now all of a sudden, in the next episode, which you'll see, everybody loves her, which I'm confused. Yeah, it's like she's making friends instantly, and I don't know if it's just because of her charisma, or if it's something else that we've done. I don't know. But, basically, oh, she has her bike still, and she's still very much, you know, the statue must stay clean. Stay clean! She's proud of our university. Stay clean! How does it? <laughs> and then we make her go back to the dorms to I think it was to do some homework no no because she had done all her homework for these classes so I think I was sending her back just to do a speech <laughs> but we also get to see a bit of the scenery where we're riding our bike and it put our th fun up yeah because we were talking about how she'll be angry but not all the time no. And stuff. And her goal is to basically hurt men like they hurt her. Which is why we'll be taking going out on lots of dates but not actually Date. being serious with anyone. Oh. I did a crash, 
Yes, aye, so I make her come because I'm like, oh, they're in here, quick, go do a speech. <laughs> and I'm sure they leave again. <laughs> Literally, so she enters the room, they're like, oh, shit. So we're pretending that while she's quite <laughs> and, and Everyone, listen to me. We're going to get men out on dates, make them think they have us, and then pull the rug out from under our feet. And make them feel the pain they made us feel. Uh huh. Oh. Look how you just die. Uh, no. It's like one gets up and leaves, and then the other no. one swallows after, and you're like, I'm a I'm a I'm a Oh, I So, uh, she didn't unfortunately inspire anyone. And then we decide, because we also want to make a group, because I have the mod where it allows me to have more than 10 people in a club once you get unlocked the perks yeah so we've got a nut some of the girls in the club so i decide to start a club gathering and get megley to come do some yoga keeping her there though was the issue yes because she kept wanting to go read a book because that's part of the club thing but i might remove that just so yeah. that they, she doesn't keep going to try and read a book and make her actually do the yoga I am one with the world. Oh, it's so strange actually wearing shoes. I'm normally in my socks. Okay. Anyone here with me? Oh, hello. Now. Let's just do this. One with the world. Breathe, my child. Breathe. I'm breathing. Oh. Where are the others? And one of the world! Down we go! Down we go! And I had to delete one yoga mat because one person came and used it and then we couldn't get in the room. Right! Standing man! And I just forgot about buying music. So we got the music to listen yeah. to while they did their yoga because it was a bit um. Wrong move, my child! <laughs> And that's me just checking the points. Like, cause we need like something like seven hundred or yeah, you need like seven hundred and near enough eight hundred points to unlock the expanding your club group. Because my goal is to have all the girls in the sorority in one group who at least wants to go out as a group. Yeah. So, in the next, not the next episode, but the next episode, we will do that. Cause there is a mod that lets. You add points, and I might just do that just so we can keep it going because she's only got like three days left, and then one more term, and then she'll be finished. So I we force her to sit in her chair <laughs> to come eat, and I'm sure again they kind of just leave. <laughs> no, that she's here, man. God damn it, man! I need all of my own. I don't need you. I've got none of my under eye patches. I'm gonna have no bags. I'm gonna look beautiful. I'm gonna get all the money. I'm gonna pick all the hats. That's why the sorority was made. Yeah, and then we get her to do work on her project oh presentation. No, presentation. And the butler. Out of my wine of it. Yeah, and the butlers in drinking are alcohol. So we tell, basically, send her to bed. Go to bed. You have a temperature. I don't want your cold! No, so yes, yeah, we do. managed to get Megley to do her first draft. And then we send her to bed because the week... Because she started university in the middle of the week, it was quite quick to the weekend when she was yeah. off, so... She does um, wake up in an annoyed mood. But <laughs> we put that down to Trevor, thinking yeah. about Trevor and Brendan. So, we get her basically ready. Right. And we decide to then think about how, what time she was going to go back. And we decided she would go back in the afternoon. Yeah. Oh, there we go. No one will break my heart because I'll break all of this. <laughs> so... We have her come down to have breakfast, you know, there's quite a few more of the sorority girls kicking around. Bad girls, we need to talk about this 
mess. Yes. Right? Your sorority girls, you're to clean up after yourselves. Understand? How are you gonna break a man's heart if he thinks you're filthy? Exactly! Why are you all leaving? Come back! You will all respect me. Don't worry, you will all come to my side. If you want to stay in the sorority, and I'll then start. We see the debate thing, the debate event on, and I was like, oh, let's go do that, because last time we went in the middle of it. Yeah. Because I wanted her to join the debate guild, but I'm still not sure how to join it. I don't think you can, I think it's just you show up. So we got her to then join it to go debate. And we encountered and a glitch. A, gl a wee glitch, but unfortunately, um, nobody really turned up. Sadly. Right, university is separate for men and females. I think she's actually one of our new sorority girls. I think she is. Right, my idea is keep men and women away from each other so that they actually do the work. So you stop. I think it's a bad idea. I think we should all be together and learn as one another as equals. Ah, uh, no! So much boo-hoo, too many pregnancies! You know, it hits the rough and kind! Well, just because you got pregnant... Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Do not bring me into this. Now, all the women who have suffered, do you want men near your dormitory stealing your underwear? Go! Go down! Oh. I'm Meg, we won. And it was like a professional debate. Or it was like a special... And I was like, oh, well done, Megby. And we also figured out why they've got clouds and shit. I have traits where they're cursed. We will be removing the cursed traits soon. Oh, because by God. <laughs> so <But> many. <laughs> we will keep them in case we want to do a story about someone being cursed. But we will remove them. I gave it to Dan. <laughs> Maybe. So then we decide, oh, well, we pretty much should get Megby to go home. Uh -huh. Right, because it's the weekend. I'm Can't starting. hold it off any longer. Yeah, it's okay. So we have her bring in little Hannah because she was outside and she's aged up to a toddler and we CC her up so you'll see that in the next episode, her all red gun up. Yeah, and you'll probably see it also in the thumbnail. Yeah, so we just have her say hello to her dad, asking how he's getting on. How's mum? Mum's not feeling too well. <coughs> And then we had to hunt out the trait for Always Welcome because this is the one thing that annoys me about The Sims is, you know, they treat her like a stranger. Yeah, but When she's I wanted it to be like, well, she's their daughter in home, just not to play them. So I gave her the Always Welcome trait that then allows her to mm. cook. So Cayenne shouting at her is not anything nasty. He's shouting her that he can't do anything. No, he's like, I'm kind of the lad wrong. You have and to then cut down she's like, and not throw it. I've just left. You think I, you're God and Ramsey? <laughs> but anyway we hope you've enjoyed this episode if you've had please leave a like and subscribe and we'll be back in the next episode bye for now bye